we've got Rarby Looks model number eight. We're going to take a look at her, redress her, all kinds of fun coming up after this. Okay, super excited to open this last one. She is a beauty. These will officially be released on December the 7th. We are going to find out what the face molds are. All of the heads are new. And I think I just discovered all of the shoes are new. So new heads, new shoes for this collection. I guess you could say new articles of clothing as well. Something that I want to mention about this line is that it made me fall in love with the Made to Move bodies. You might have followed my channel for some time and I didn't always like them. Like Barbie's feet are really small. That one kind of was a problem for me. But the style I've come to appreciate as an art form. One thing I have noticed about this series is that they are very much glammed up. Like the girls have way more makeup on. I guess that's that's the major difference. Oh, maybe the hair colors. Yeah, that one girl's hair is kind of crazy. I hope you checked out my other two reviews of the other two. I really do love them. Barbie Basics is back, but better. Now, when I was separating my black and white clothes in anticipation for the Barbie's looks, I was going through a minimalist period myself. I'm still going through it. I want to embrace it. I don't know if that includes just black and white clothing, though. But when I was choosing and picking out all of the black and white clothes, definitely you can make your dolls look sophisticated and smart by doing this. I was also pulling out the silver. So it's kind of interesting that that is the color, if you can call it a color, that they've incorporated into the series. And they did. In the first one, the curvy girl had silver boots. So she's kind of the tie-in to this new wave. But I love the silver pieces I have. This is one of my favorite silver dresses. I've got a, even a silver suit. This dress, I know this is coveted. This is like a Canadian exclusive. I think they also have it in Europe too, but people love this set. It was from a deluxe Ken and Barbie with many outfit set. I really should get another one because I use this so much and I try to squeeze it on my WWE bodies and it kind of is wearing the dress out. We're here to look at model number eight though. Can I be quiet already? I also have this really cool fashion pack that is a single, like usually I keep all of my sets together and open them all as a collection. But this one, I don't think I have the other ones from the series. And I mean, I think she's gonna look fantastic in this dress. It has the colors of her makeup in the dress already. And it's silver and white. And yeah, I think that's a perfect outfit for her to try on. So yeah, let's make this experience lots of fun. Let me put on my glasses so I can see what I'm doing. I really think that these dolls are perfection. Each doll comes with a stand and a certificate of authenticity. The only thing that differentiates it is the code at the bottom there. Motel 2021 certificate of authenticity. Barbie looks a doll. I hope this isn't the end of the line. I hope that this continues. I believe I heard the BMR series is discontinued. To me, this is an extension of the BMR. I remember when the BMR came out, I said I would love to get BMRs done in a more minimalist look, and we did in fact get that. Oh, there's gel in her hair. The back of the package has a silver gradient. I like that. I'll be saving all of my boxes. And the doll stand looks like this, hollow bottom. We put the doll on the doll stand like this to the side, twist, then you put the clip onto the stand and let gravity do its work. I always want to remind you of that. I always want to remind myself of that because I have broken way too many of these clips. Take it slow, be careful, and you'll have your toys forever. These are the awesome shoes. I am so into these little booties. They are classy and 80s and awesome. I love them. 
and they're a little more detailed than I would normally like, but they're just done so nicely. I'm taking her off her stand. The skirt feels like the same material that the boys' pants are made out of, and the top feels like none of the other pieces, really. And let's take a look at her face. Do we see pixelation? No, we do see some shimmer, though, there in the eyes, don't we? She's got some purple and blue and then flocked hair. And I made a mistake of washing the petite from the first wave's hair, and it actually took away all of the flocking, and well, it took it in away in patches, so I had to wash away the rest of the flocking. You can't really tell by looking at her, but there was something about the hair that I didn't like. This hairstyle, however, I don't have to change that. I don't know what I, I can't remember what she looked like, but I didn't like it. I do have to pull out some of these long ones that are standing. It's not perfect. I suppose I could clean it up a little bit. I might do it with gel. It's not totally tidy, but it looks really good and super 80s. And man, she's looking good in the camera. Look at that long neck. She's a model. It is an original body size which I'm happy about because it is my favorite of the body shapes. Well, I don't know. Sometimes I really like the tall ones too. They look like super crazy uh, alien model-like, so I kind of appreciate those too. But she's, she's gorgeous. I don't have all the loose hairs yet. No, there's one more. I probably won't touch the hair, but I will pull out these single long ones that are standing out. Okay. There, I think we got it. Yeah, she's really great. The heads on these are so... Look how she's looking. Like the way that her neck is long and her head's protruding. It's it's just... She's so stylish. Let's examine these pieces of clothing more carefully. So Velcro in the back, which I've said that I prefer because of the low profile that it enables. Look, you can't... It turns into some kind of crimped up bag. You wouldn't even know that this was a dress. But that's the Velcro, is the tag on this. They usually put the Barbie signature label on yet yeah, one piece in the outfit. So we have that. And like I said, it's just like the boys' pants. Let me show you these shoes again. Pointy toes. A little like, I guess it's probably a chain detail or stitching detail around the middle and the top. These are really nice shoes. Again, love the retro 80s booty. And then this athletic top, which probably is gonna look nicer when I redo it up. It is, oh, you know what? It seems to be the same material that the boy's shirt is made out of. So these guys are very similar with the matching top and bottoms black tops, silver bottoms, and yeah, it's great. But hey, let's uh, let's put her in a different outfit. I think these boots are gonna look good with her outfit. Take your clip off, put it on the side, twist it, then put it on. Let gravity do the work. And I hope this is a slide out one. I like the old fashioned ones that slide out. Oh yeah. Not the ones that you have to tear completely apart. You know what? It it, uh, it looks so good. This like this outfit was made for her. I mean, I'm not all into matchy matchy. I don't really like that. But it does look great when there's a color that pulls out a color from somewhere else in your outfit or on your person. Can she make this gown that has a kind of train thing going on. Can she make this look all rock and roll? I think especially with her shoes she can. This is a really nicely made dress. I get comments all the time saying that they don't make Barbie clothes They're very nice anymore, but there are some fantastic pieces. This box is an homage to that. I'm going to have to do a My Barbie style video, probably, for this Barbie. So she's I guess my favorite. She's on the WWE body, and I love her. I have pulled out all of my favorite pieces, 
and there's some really really nice classy pieces that we've gotten throughout the years that I keep for her and that's up above and beyond any of the black and white stuff and silver okay yeah she's making this look real 80s she's also looking like a princess because of this pale on pale look uh, the way that her neck is jetting forward it must be the shape of her face because I don't think they restructured the made to move body unless they did because look at the neck on this Barbie let me see this do why where do I have a do I have another made to move oh it's right under here I forgot does propel forward. I did not notice that before. That is different from the regular Barbie mold. Check that out. It just seems more pronounced in uh, her case. I guess she has a longer chin. These faces are very similar. I might uh, have questioned if they were the same ones. The noses are very similar, but I believe the mouths are different and the shape of the head, of course, one is rooted and one is, the noses are very similar. I guess her head just appears to jet forward more and it's such a couture model-y look. I love it. Yeah, okay. Can the black shoes look good? with this dress. I would say yes. They're like a little edgy surprise. This set also has a blue pearl bracelet, which I'm all over. Wow, this is a really nice dress. Look at this. Does that look familiar? Is that the same material? It's very similar. And then there's sparkle in here. And I love the blue finish. And this purse is also quite lovely. Very smart, chic, sophisticated. I will keep that with my favorite purses for sure. Let me know what you think of her. I'll try on one more outfit on her at the end of the video. I hope you will like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Really? I don't really want to take this off her. I do want to take off the bracelet and the purse. She looks really good in this though. Can I give her a odd modely pose? Made to move bodies are so fun. She's pretty amazing. Really, really cool. I'm so glad Barbie basics are back and I'm able to collect them. Let me see if I can rock and roll her up. I'll give her a white t-shirt. This is probably Barbie Styles white t-shirt. And I've got to put her into the leather jacket. This is pushing it. I don't know if she can wear this. I just didn't want to choose something that was too predictable. I mean, she can do no wrong, but we can do better than that. It's cool though. I like the contrast. We can do the silver pants. Let's do my favorite skirt. There's also her skirt. Would look amazing with this outfit. But we're here to see what she's capable of. Well, I put her in the same colors and everything. All right, no, I'm not liking that skirt either. We need to go full on edgy. I don't know if I have that. Okay, I got it. We're gonna do these leather shorts. Motorcycle boots. They're kind of rubber boots. But they're also kind of motorcycle-y. What do you think? I think I'm trying too hard, but that's what fashion is about. You need to try new things, take risks. Yeah, she, she'd look good in anything. These are better boots for her. She's so cool. 
She might be my favorite girl. <laughs>